I think that from a Molinist perspective or a middle knowledge perspective, we can understand these verses to mean that God knew that if Pharaoh were in these circumstances, he would freely react by hardening his heart. Hey everybody, this video illustrates one of the central methodological shortcomings of biblical apologetics. And that is that biblical apologetics doesn't uh, allow the data to operate on their own terms, certainly does not follow the data where they lead. Rather, it treats data as an obstacle that is to be overcome in pursuit of the desired goal. And that desired goal is usually an ideology that is being imposed upon the text, a rule that the apologists are forcing the text to conform to. And luckily for apologetics, they don't have to make a strong argument. All they have to do is be able to gin up the tiniest little sliver of not physically impossible because they're performing for an audience that wants to believe that the text conforms to that ideology and they don't need to be shown that it is plausible or that is much less probable. All they need to be shown is that it is not impossible. And as long as it is not impossible, then their ideology has not been proven false. Therefore, they are justified. Their ideology is legitimized. And that's the goal of biblical apologetics. And so here we've reached into our methodological tool bag and pulled out the Molinist approach to show that if we accept this approach, we can overcome the data that indicate pretty explicitly that God is the one who compelled, forced Pharaoh to respond in the way that he did. We can now say, oh no, God just ginned up these circumstances so that Pharaoh would respond the way Pharaoh would respond. It's fabricating scenarios that are not in evidence in order to show we can imagine a scenario in which our ideology fits. Therefore, our ideology is legitimized. Now, as with all engagements with the Bible as a piece of authoritative literature, this is a renegotiation with the text. But rather than prioritizing concern for what the original authors and audiences understood this text to be saying, even just as a jumping off point for further negotiations in order to make it meaningful and useful to audiences today, this approach uh, silences the original authors and audiences and tells the text what it is allowed to have meant originally so that that original intended meaning is precisely what keeps the text relevant and meaningful to audiences today. This is telling the text what it is and is not allowed to say.